When Sir Henry Parks delivered his famous speech at the School of Arts, a banquet was held with about 80 guests. Unfortunately, there is no photograph of that banquet. So the one shown at the museum is of a later banquet, quite possibly with many of the same people. This particular banquet, however, was serving a different purpose, although the two events involved the theme of federation. It was reported in the Tenterfield Star, published on the 3rd of August, 1898, that this banquet was held a week after the New South Wales elections and the federation referendum. The function was a complimentary banquet for Mr J H Reid, held by his friends and supporters, even though he actually lost the election. It was a great success, with great enthusiasm and cordiality prevailed throughout the proceedings. The banquet was held in the large hall of the School of Arts, with Mr J Frost taking a flashlight photograph of the 90 plus people in attendance. Mr. M. Kelly Sr. chaired the gathering with the guest, Mr. J. H. Reed, on his right, and Mr. S. A. Woodward from Drake on his left, and presided over the large and influential gathering, giving the Queen, which was received with musical honours. Mr. E. H. Jurgen proposed the toast to the guest and said, It was stated by the opposition that there would be only 10 or dozen in attendance, which was met by laughter, but the splendid gathering of over 90 who are representatives from all classes and creeds gave the lie direct to the opposition, which was met by cheers from the crowd. The large gathering gives honour to the gentlemen who fought their battle nobly and fairly. Although they had been defeated, they had not been disgraced more great cheering was heard. Mr. J. H. Reed was the member for Drake and Tenterfield, and Mr. C. A. Lee was the member for the Back Blocks and the Gully Rakers. The Reverend R. Dill McKay supported the motion, saying, Mr. J. H. Reed was chosen to fight the cause for the Australian Union, not man against man, but for good of the country. Tenterfield is in the corner of the colony and could not find markets for its farm produce, so federation would be a good thing for this part of the New South Wales colony, and as much as people might like Mr C. A. Lee, they ought to like themselves, their wives and children better, and fight for their own interests that the Battle of Federation was a matter of life and death for them.' 